All right, hello, hello, Aries. Aries, this is a look into 2024. I'm using the Akashic Tarot um, to do the Wheel of Life. Um, so this will be exciting. I have to say I did see 1204 being spotlighted. Maybe this has to do with December 2023, um, 1023, and 87, so 87. Anyways, those were just some, some date signs I saw. So maybe dealing with Sagittarius, uh, Scorpio, or Virgo. But let's just jump into this. This is a big spread. I am going to read out of the book. So this can go through your, uh, your zodiacal chart as well. First house through the 12th house. Um, there's 18 cards in this spread. So I'm going to just get it going. Also, this could be you know, beginning of the year, January, February, March, all the way through. And then I'm also going to do a tea leaf one in a separate video. So look for that too. So underneath there, wow, Archangel Raphael, this is about creating stuff from your heart space and creating it into, you know what I mean? Your creation. Whew. Views of the ego. Okay. In reverse. Hmm. I don't know. I'm feeling a little off all of a sudden, Aries. Something going on. 2024. Let's see. What do we have for the Aries? The first house energy of how you're seen, number one. Whoa, views of the ego. <laughs> you or someone else. There could be someone in your life who is seen this way. This is seeing them as... Uh, this came through for Pisces at the very end of the year. So we're starting this in the beginning here. Uh... You could see yourself this way. This is how you're even seen. Ooh, okay. Um, this is this is recognizing this. Just there's a st stubborn person. This is you know seeing themselves very self-absorbed, very self-centered. Um, maybe someone in your life is this way. Forces. Maybe trying to force things. There's strength here. This is maybe needing to let go of a person who is like this. Um, okay. <laughs> Yeah, wow, that's how you see yourself even, or that that's first house energy. This may be the way people see you, so keep that in mind. The willow is about strength and being grounded and rooted and being able to be flexible. These forces, second house even, dealing with um, Taurus energy or in February. Your second house, what you value. Birth is in reverse here. So we'll have to see what this one is about, reading it in reverse. This is clearly about, you know, something new being born, even with communication with your siblings, neighbors, friends, Gemini energy. And you got the Queen of Roses in reverse as well. So dealing with your home, family, this might be someone from your, your ancestors, roots. Um, the Queen of Roses in reverse is, um, wow, so this could be... Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, Feminine, but this is heavy emotions. This could be you if you're the feminine energy. We're going to see what's going on with that. I'm seeing that as um, January, February, March, April. Yeah, so Aries, Taurus. But someone from your home, family, I'm going to find out more about that. So that's our fourth card. Okay, and let's get your fifth card. Add some. That's interesting because I did see this one. This is about even like you see how there is communicate. There's all these people helping with this information, guidance, angels, fairies, it, people that are on this earth that are part of the soul family bringing in. Add some. Communication. You have a lot of fours and twos. That's all I see is twos and fours. You got four, two, four, twenty two, four, twenty two. 4-2, four, 4-2, two, four, two, 24, huh, then 22, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this is about your creativity, fun, um, even romance, <laughs> there's a whole bunch of guidance, even like, so when you're learning or you're reading, like even getting these aha epiphanies, people even guiding you, I mean, or spirit, angel, ancestors, Okay, about some fun new creativity, fifth house stuff. Okay, sixth house stuff, your day-to-day -day life, Virgo, your health even. What do we got for that? Two of worlds, wow, being pushed and pulled, and something is on track. Wow, interesting. So this being in reverse, I'm going to see what this has to do, but this is also about a movement. Everything's on track, 
Look, he's about to hop on this train for something. There's an important date, but it's upright, so this means everything is as it's supposed to be. This two worlds is also being pushed and pulled between, you know, feeling like um, material and, you know, family, wealth, things like that versus a spiritual life. You know, where people even think it's an either or, like a monastery or like a priest or something, you know, like you can't have a family, you can't have all these things or you can only have that. But this is knowing how to balance them both. But I'm going to see why it's in reverse with that health. Maybe it has to do with Virgo even because Virgo is spotlighted. And then this would be your seventh card. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, about partnerships. So, uh, something is on track with this. Four one. You got the twos again. Two two two. Then two one. So whatever this is about the seventh house, even something in July or your partnership. So one two three four five six seven. Now we're gonna go to the eight. This is moving into that scorpionic. Your eighth house energy. The eighth month, even possibly of this year of twenty twenty four for the Aries. Okay, whoa, okay, six of forces and the waterfall. This came through with Pisces and the willow even, six, two. Maybe even dealing with Gemini or Pisces could be your eighth house. Scorpio as well because of the water energy. This is about emotions, Have these emotions and going with the flow. Wow, loving elements. That's in reverse, so we're going to see. That would be 10, 9, 10, 11, clearing the way, six, three, four. Nine four six seven seven six. Okay. All right, so that is your eighth house eighth card, your ninth one, even for that Sagittarius energies or higher learning, right? Travel, being surrounded by these loving elementals. The ninth card, the tenth card about career sector, clearing the way, a blockage being cleared, a key. Let's see why it's in reverse, though. This one's being in reverse. Even maybe in October or dealing with your career sector. Let's get the 11th card about social networking, friends, even November energy. It could be either or. You're getting two. Whoa, War of the Roses. So this is realizing that there are certain people in this friend zone, in this dynamic, or during November, there is some... This is actually good because it's agreeing to disagree, and you've put both sides of attempted so there could be political divide belief system divide religious divide whatever it could be neighbors siblings um romantic people people you work with but i'm seeing this as social networking even friends online possibly that you're having big disagreements with and then that 12th card is about mastery and um, work it, pisces energy got this too it was their final card but they were receiving at the end so this is still like needing to do doing this work career so something about 12th house or december has to do with your work oh uh, so that's the the social networking online stuff then that that 12th card now there is a 13 now let me see so i'm doing this spread right so i'm gonna pay attention make sure i'm getting this right the cards okay all right 13 through 17 is life path and then the 18th card okay 12th card is also about karmic lessons and relationships okay the unconscious dreams what's hidden behind the veil spirit communication and even prison wow All right, 18 is a single card that gives you a peek into long-term future. A glimpse at future trends based on the choices and actions of today. So, I haven't pulled the 18th card. Not right now, we're going to 13 through 17, which is the life path. Goes in the center here. I'm also going to put this down so you can get a closer look. Okay, here we go, Aries. This is your will of life for 2024. Let's see this life path. Cards number 13 through 17. And I will explain what they mean and then read out the book for you. Oh, wow. The muse. A lot of stuff. And the willow. The willow tree and the muse. 
this one, a lot of stuff is similar coming out with Pisces. Maybe it's because you are like cusp energy. Uh, things are up in the air. 15, 18. And wishes fulfilled. 618, 69, 59, 518, 515. So this is about creativity. This is what's going on, your creative stuff. Something new being birthed. 415, Aries. Up in the air. Uh, 418, 49. Things still being up in the air and unknown. There are still certain things that are unknown. Um during this time because there is other people in play here right i'm also seeing this is you know you have this queen of roses in reverse so we'll see what's up with that and wishes fulfilled it's in reverse so maybe we're going to receiving because this is about abundance material stuff 522 hmm. 518 all right so 13 14 15 we got two more actually three more and then i will start reading the cards out of the book let's get two more for this life path for 2024 okay i ended up getting all four so i'm just gonna put it through here we got hilarion 10 5 5 10 the light of the world 13 14 15 16 one more and then wow archangel michael but it came in reverse 10 9 9 10 9 1 10 1 um, wow. So the final card, there is two, right? The queen of forces. So, uh, feminine energy. This could be you if you are, but this is being in your power or a feminine woman who is very much in her power, um, who can be helpful. The lookout, maybe they're even a lookout watching, you know what I mean? This is about paying attention to what's coming. Like, look, he's looking out. This ship's on fire. This is a karmic thing, even maybe dealing with Aries, Libra, or Scorpionic partnership stuff. Okay, that's that's the final card. This is your 18. That's that future. Of the way the energy is going, this queen of forces, if you are this feminine or there is a feminine in your life that has is standing in her power, this is to also Empress. I feel like it's a combination of both, like Empress and High Priestess. And then we'll see what's going on with this lookout. Because that was a bonus. A bonus. <laughs> okay, I'm going to look under the deck too and I see the Oracle of Delphi in reverse. So someone's not, maybe not doing it, not listening to guidance or not their own um, communication isn't, there's kind of a blockage or like someone knows better, I guess. Hmm. So views of the ego. Let's start. So this could be with January energy, right? beginning of the month this is maybe even first house how you're seen or how you see yourself this is a self card and this is a selfish card so wow i just okay there's three people they stand together before a full-length mirror right but they only see one three different there's a woman there there's a person in the middle, and then there's another person on the side. And only this one person is seen. The other two are not. You see? Someone does things without consideration of others. That's what this card's about. Hmm. So that could also be, you know, January. <laughs> Capricorn, Aquarius, whatever. Maybe even someone from your home, family. Maybe another Aries you're dealing with, even. 4-6, 4-15, 4-2. A lot of 42s, right? It shows there may be a thoughtless, selfless person in your life. Whether in love, friendship, family, or business relationship, this person is self-absorbed. I'm seeing it as another Aries or a Cancer or Gemini, possibly even. Eight or Scorpio. This person makes plans only in terms of how they affect him or her. You may have lingered too long repeatedly giving to this person even though you haven't received much in return. You've tolerated this dismissiveness because you kept hoping things would get better or perhaps you were too afraid to step away. You're called now to be aware. This person is unlikely to change and you may be delaying the inevitable. Take an honest look in your mirror and see how staying in this relationship affects your future. Wow. 
So the second card is the two of forces for you, and that's Willow. And those are second house energies, even maybe in February. So it could pull in um, how you value things. Taurus, maybe even uh, Aquarius, Pisces, second house, possibly. Um, someone could have a Cancer rising, Capricorn, you know, any of these. Um... I guess that wouldn't make that. <laughs> but, okay, I'm going to go to the forces. The two of forces here. I know that this is about being grounded and rooted in and flexible during this time. Yeah. Okay, so the second month, the second house, what you value, what you're willing to spend your... This is earth energy, right? Staying grounded. I see a lot of Virgo with it and Aries, maybe Libra as well. This card indicates a time of calm, so enjoy the peaceful energy now. It also signifies a time of power, perfect for re reinforcing your foundation in your work, in your family, in your spirit, and in the depth of your belief in yourself. Just like the willow, you have a peaceful strength drawn from the waters of your soul and extending through all eternity. Stand confidently in your truth. Take the actions that support the growth of all things wonderful in your life and know that you are powerful. Right? So birth is in reverse, and that is in your third house energy, that Gemini energy, about communication, even maybe cancer energy is there. There's a lot of fours, right? Um, I'm going to see why birth is in reverse, though. Let's see. This is the first time this one has popped up. <laughs> and so let's see. Maybe even dealing with a Taurus or a Leo, a child, Aries, Virgo, Cancers. This card, you may find a challenge here, 52. Or delays with a pregnancy or even a romance. There may also be some difficulties for one of your children. Or between you and a child. It could be possibly that a child may be leaving for college or going away. Feelings of lovelessness or an unfulfilled desire for home and family may be present as well. Hmm. Be strong and tap the boundless love within. It is a force that can change everything. Sometimes birth reversed indicates a difficulty in finding your purpose, which requires investigation now. You may be surprised to find clues about your future purpose by looking into your past and even your past lives. Keep looking and don't be dismayed your new purpose is waiting to be born. Finally, this card reverse could also show a delay with other new beginnings. You have the queen of roses in reverse. So especially if you're this feminine energy or dealing with a feminine energy here. Hmm. It could signal that you must work harder and gather your courage to take the first step. Still, this reversal doesn't mean an end to your new start. It just might require finding a different way to go about it. And this is even, maybe even in your birthday month, but this is about communication, even with your siblings, neighbors, children here, right? Then as we move to this fourth house energy, which is your home, your family, um, your ancestors, you know, your roots, you have the queen of roses in reverse. So this feminine is definitely uh, not in a good place um, she's feeling upside down. Probably heavy emotions, views of the ego there too, being spotlighted somehow. The roses, it's, it's, it's with the roses for some reason. And this ego, maybe this is part of it. Okay, let's see. Where are we at with this? Community, okay. Here we go. Maybe they're Leo, Aries, or Scorpio, or Sagittarius as well. Part of your family. This card's reversal reveals some disharmony or even conflict with a woman in your life. Could be a mother, or a wife, or a girlfriend, or it's a family member, right? This is family. A friend even. Um, a worker, associate, or a lover. Whoever this may be, keep conscious and aware. Make sure you stay centered, calm, and empowered. You may be able to resolve the situation with clear communication. The reverse queen of roses can also represent you or a woman you know who is stepping out of the role of mother or wife. 
it may be difficult to get pregnant. So there could be issues with pregnancy for some of you, if that's something you're hoping for, because I see this, and maybe this is causing some upsetness. Uh, you know what I mean? Hmm. Okay. Someone's stepping out of the role of mother or wife. Someone could be going off to college, one of your children, a romantic separation may be in the cards. You may no longer resonate with each other. Hmm. And it's time to let go. Let yourself process your emotions and honor any grief that comes up. This is a cycle of transformation. As you let go of those who are not fully present or fully honoring you, you will find that you're opening your life to the loving care that you truly deserve. Finally, this card can indicate a deep gash in your own self-love. A history of not caring for yourself. An attitude of extreme self-care is required here. Make your own self-love a genuine priority and the universe will respond with far greater love in your life. Add some. <laughs> Need to add some love. Wow. One, two, three, four. Wow. Okay. So the fifth house, this is about your creativity, your fun. And you've got this 22. There's more four here, even Taurus, maybe Aquarius or Pisces. Um, but this is a master number too. So add some is about this guidance. And let's see. Maybe um, in May, you also have light of the world. So that's in that uh, life path energy. Let's see. Up in the air, that's there too. 22. Actually, I mean, uh, I have to tell you, like the other ones were coming out with like karmic stuff, karmic trench and a lot of, a lot of different stuff. So overall this, I mean, clearly nobody wants to deal with, this is relationship issues for sure, right? Family, friends, coworkers. Hmm. Usually this queen of the roses is a water sign for me, but can be any feminine. And I did see those other fire energies, right? And the views of the egos keep pop popping here. They could be a mother, a sibling, a neighbor. And it, it could also represent you, right? Okay. Nine. Four nine. Four four. Huh. Okay, we're going to add some now. <laughs> I'm just going, I'm going back a little bit on that. Let me see. All right, it's up right here. So 102 and 103. So maybe even um, Capricorn, Aries, Taurus. Add some. I arrive. I am here. Okay. The word also, okay, this is getting focused, helping you to get focused on your creativity. Um, this is fifth house fun, children, um, creativity, right? Her eyes are drawn to the side as if she were distracted from a reading by a curious thought or someone nearby. She's surrounded by several people, many of whom are somewhat translucent and glowing. An angel bends and whispers, add some, I arrive, I am here, I attend you. A single word that has many, many meanings. First, it affirms your own strength and focus in the present. You can use it as a command word whenever you find yourself distracted from what's at hand. This word also declares your arrival at your goals and all your wishes coming true. This card also reminds you to be assured that no matter what's happening in your life, spirit is always there for you. They reach out to you, sharing their light and power and serving you in every way from the least, right? Okay. From the least to the highest, from grandma to the divine, an eternal community attends you. Say, add some, and take some time to attend them too. You can act on your promise to God. As spirit lifts you upon their shoulders, you are present for each other, and today you arrive at your dreams. I find this fascinating because next to it is also this two of scrolls in reverse, which is the two worlds about spirituality versus uh, a secular life i guess maybe is this what or more material life and you got the two 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 there again 
but it's in reverse. So it's, I'm really interested to see what this says, even about maybe in June or about your health, your day-to-day -day life, Virgo energy, the two worlds, two of scrolls. The four says the keys. Finding the scrolls now. <laughs> ah, here we go. This is maybe about learning. Let's see. In reverse, let's see. 111, 110. Weird. So you got the 222 and 111. This reverse of this card is one of great release. Wow, this is letting go. Money and the personal world are present, but they no longer have to drive you. You have an opportunity now to act on your highest ideals and conviction. You may have been torn between two worlds or even between light and dark, but now you've discovered a greater sense of your truth. The rock solid mountain of your spiritual reality is now the history from which you draw your power. Once you were worried that striving for your spiritual goals would put your personal or financial life at some risk, but now you have determined how to take steps, even little ones, to integrate the two. Your divine soul is the driving force for your life and you can design your future and manifest all your desire through it. That's beautiful. So this reversal is is a good, like, this is a good thing of recognizing this. And then also understanding everything's on track. This The uh, ones of scrolls, this new beginning, this is even with your partnership, okay, Aries? Um, or sometime in July, how you're seen. It's on, everything's on track right travel or a move can be indicated by this card 107 hmm. it often about your choices and direction you may have been ambivalent about taking a certain track in your life with regard to a project a relationship a career directive or even a location but now it's time to decide even if you're not quite as assured as you'd like to be the engine is smoking there's direction that compels you so get on board you will not falter Hmm. all right getting on track and then we've got these these emotions um in this scorpio energy the eighth house that that like i said came through with pisces energy so that's being spotlighted this waterfall of forces and emotions and this is being in control um so i'm going to keep moving with that i'm not going to read the whole page with that um ninth house is these three of roses and once again that one came through with pisces in their like main life so that's why i'm bringing it up um ninth house sagittarius but i do want to see why these elementals are in reverse hmm three of roses this card re reverse reveals a serious split from the fun loving child within Wow. From your own spirit and from your union with the natural world. It's also time when you seem to have lost your enthusiasm for life. Try not to take things too seriously. It's important to find a joyful purpose. Something that truly makes your heart sing. Meditate more. Do the things that make you happy and open your heart to your own radiant self and to the dancing happy beings who are only a breath away. And once again, I'm seeing this is about an ego, like thinking this is too childish or something. Like this is losing this fun spark in, in maybe in November or ninth house. Learning Sagittarius. Four of keys in reverse. This is also about your career sector or something in October. I'm, you see, I'm just going through that the cycle of the months as well as the cycle of the astrological houses so four of keys is clearing the way from there was a blockage or something in your career sector i'm gonna see why it's in reverse though the keys okay six of forces it might have to do with the waterfall so i'm jumping back to that to scorpio or eighth house stuff even pisces like i said uh, there could be libra virgo aries it's fluid. Your life force is never ending. It springs from your eternal past and roars into your limitless future. This could be even a time where you could deepen these emotions and um, an expansion of psychic energy even. All right. The four of keys. 
Wow, and Queen of Forces is right there, and that was even that final card into this future energy. Especially if you're dealing with Scorpio, this is spotlighted, or you have this in your chart, a feminine, or, or Cancer, or Aries. Leo. Can't tell them in 1213. 414. 4-5. That's the final one, and I'm going to read that one for you when we get there, Okay. <laughs> All right, that's the Queen of Forces. I'm going to keep that. So the keys, we have even the Master Artist. So a lot about work coming through, right? Um, that's even with 12th House, even. Uh, maybe there's some karmic contracts or something. You do things maybe at home. Like, I'm seeing them not being alone there. But Pisces Energy, right? And even December. So even Sagittarius Scorpionic. Capricorn. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Four of keys. Four, eight, 84. All right. This one in reverse. The way is being cleared. Especially even dealing with maybe Sagittarius, Scorpio, or Aries. Okay, nine, 10, 10, 8. The 9. This is a release and a letting go of something regarding your career sector. An obstruction that you thought would be daunting can easily and quickly dis be dispatched. Even some external events or other people may help to ease this situation and open the way. In either event, celebrate. You will soon be free to take the steps you once thought were blocked. Right? And then you've got this War of the Roses, even maybe in uh, November or um, dealing with online friends, community. And this is... This is really seeing that you guys are no longer like in the same, uh, you know, thing. This is the War of Roses came through for a different, a couple different signs. Um, came through with Sagittarius. Um, hold on, I'm like, hold on, let me go here. The ego, I keep, I don't know why I keep op keeping that open. This ego that we started with this, and I, this is part of it. This person will never change. And they may feel the same way about you. Like you may be mirroring. And that's what they say. Like that's why it's realizing to agree to disagree. Okay. Storm clouds gather in the sky. Hmm. This is a war within a relationship or a battle within your heart about a relationship. Most often this relationship is romantic in nature. Maybe as someone you've met online or they're an Aquarius even because I'm pulling it in your 11th energy. Um, but this card could also refer to a co-worker, a partner, boss, or a family member. There could be power plays. And at the very least, there is a lack of reciprocity and communication. And because I've pulled it in the 11th or something in November, I'm just really calling it as a friend zone or online, you know what I mean? Groups. Yeah, you're at an impasse. Your intuition or your spirit, the white rose, has told you that this experience is not supportive one. But your passions, fears, and the needs, the red rose, keep you from listening you have tried to bring the two together as indicated by the dirty flag with the combined white and red rose on the ground. But what's happening in this relationship is not compatible with your spirit's view for you. So there you stand, your spirit and your passion, just watching and waiting. This situ situation is nothing less than karmic and it's time to listen and take action. Awareness, vision, and self-honoring are required now for you to position yourself best and make plans to leave the battlefield. Yeah. It the 15 being spotlighted, 415 uh, Aries Leo Virgo even. Virgo. Mm. <clears throat> All right, so the next one, moving into that 12th, right? The very end of the year. Um this is the Pisces energy. There could definitely also be Aquarius with that, uh Leo Taurus 567. And this is also about your work. You know, your abundance. It's a completion, though. But this also can indicate that you have the opportunity to offer your talents, your purpose, and your gifts to the world. Making contribution to many. Don't be shy and don't hold back what you have to share. It's not the time to hide your light under a basket. 
The master artisan pours a number of beautiful, shining gems into the open hands of one of his apprentices. As a matter of fact, you may now find yourself teaching or training your skill to others. Wow. Hmm. You may also be demonstrating your gifts and performing your talents publicly, even if your gifts lie in the ability for loving, compassionate care, you'll be sharing those gifts with others. See, and this is a karmic area. Like this is something, it's part of like a, a car, you're a, you know, a, a soul contract type thing. That's why it's in this Pisces energy. Hmm. In this period of time, you can build your reputation and take advantage of the opportunities that come your way. So take action, put yourself out there and let yourself shine. There's much beauty and empowerment for you to bring to this world. Wow. And then the final one, Aries, was this Queen of Forces. So, dun dun dun, dun. Here we go. Queen of Forces. This is even looking into future, like the end of the year of 2024. And, and the energy is long, that this is wonderful. Even being on the lookout for karmic stuff, you know, being aware of it. There's some Scorpio Aries or um, Libra Leo Cancer. Hmm. Let's see. This queen of forces represents a woman who can help to bring greater balance to your life. She brings an unusual combination of power and peace, creativity and receptivity in both her energy and her support. She's the sun and the moon with a river flowing beneath her feet. This can represent a person in your life, either you or another, coming into a great phase of great power and an ability to sustain it with wonderful results. There is a gift of grace and serene understanding when this card is upright. It also brings new roles and opportunities, careers in many of the sciences, global communication, nature, and energy may now be available to you. This could also indicate the appearance of a possible love interest or an associate in business or in creative project who has powerful influence and connections for you or for another. It may be someone you know or somebody new, but when this card appears, there is a tender yet powerful support. During this time, choose to support yourself as well. You hold the forces of the sun, creativity, and moon, receptivity, and only you yourself can direct the energy of your eternal life. Wow. Wow. Now the final card was this lookout as well. And I already know this one is about looking out on the horizon, paying attention. Um, the 17 divine physician has, as I've also seen that here, did not come into your card. So I'm not going to read that in particular. Archangel Michael is there too, but it came in reverse. Hmm. You need to reconnect with your real power source. Maybe this is uh, not seeing your full potential, right? Um, and this is part of this, in this life path during this, this year of 20, what, did I say 2023, 2024 guys? Hopefully I haven't been saying 2023 the whole time, <laughs> but this is 2024. Uh, let me see this lookout card and then we will go back. You have the muse as well. Okay, this card tells you to be on the lookout. There is a challenging situation. <clears throat> 87. 87. Perhaps even a battle of sorts. 15 is being spotlighted again. 617, 68. Mm. You could experience a sudden fall or loss of your position, but if you are aware, you can make a backup plan that will help you ride through dif this difficult time a little more easily. This phase may be temporary, but it's important to keep your balance. Your strength will carry you through to a better time to come. Hmm. So, I think that's for even looking further into, you know what I mean, going into 2025. Um, but, but understanding you have the strength and power. You or a woman in your life it, or is coming through. Um, really strong, you know, for, and for Pisces, King of Forces came through, which is very interesting. And I don't know why I keep bringing that up, but anyways, 
Let's see. The Muse. So once again, in your life here, this 13 card, this is also about um, this creativity, you know, um, really having being inspired and then something being up in the air already understand that this is about unknowing, right? There may, may sense that there's aspects of an important situation that seem hidden to you. You may feel a strong, almost urgent desire to know how it's going to turn out. You can connect with your spirit guides and the Akashic Records and ask for a little insight, but there are elements that are unknown and at this time unknowable. There is too much about the situation that is still up in the air. It could be due to the influence of others who are undecided or some events may not yet have come to pass or unexpected di discoveries are yet to be made. Trust is the only way for you now. If you push too hard to know or to influence the outcome, you might push the outcome away. <clears throat> Let go of all urgency and give the situation to your higher infinite self who will take care of it all. Time is required to know more about this matter and time doesn't matter to your eternal self whose power and love are always with you. For now, and indeed forever, what else do you need? Nothing but trust, right? Trusting, the deepest knowing that all you seek will be revealed to you in the right timing. So we've got these wishes fulfilled in reverse, these five of keys. <clears throat> Next, the views of the ego just keeps every time I flip it. So it, that is very important. I feel like that's part of this up in the air, right? With the other people in your life. The other players in your life. <laughs> All right. The keys, five of keys. And I already read the eight of keys. So your dreams may feel as if they are somewhat off in the distance, but they don't have to be so elusive. You must work to change your circumstances as well as your responses to them. Don't define yourself in lack and don't go on the defensive. Remain strong and steadfast in your little victories and your inner abundance. The most important key to getting your wishes fulfilled is the power inside you. Keep working on your dreams and your dreams will start working for you. The light of the world, 510. This is someone still in this really... Feeling powerless in a sense. Um, you know, it's like this is even like not getting what you were hoping for, wishing for. 9-5 even, 5-10, maybe dealing with any of those signs, uh, those times of the month. Um, this light of the world, I'm seeing this knocking and someone feeling like they do not have Archangel Michael in reverse. Someone feeling very powerless. Huh. But remember, the queen of forces, right? <laughs> Is this major outcome for the finality of 2024? All right, this light of the world. An old sage. Your life may be busy. The opportunity now presents itself for you to move into higher awareness. 6-9. It's a great time to open to your higher self and all its wisdom and powers. It's your soul, your eternal being who approaches, but it is up to you and only you to open the door. You do that by taking real and regular action in knowing and feeling the wise and radiant being you are forever. Through meditation and study, you can own that enormous love, power, and vision. You can make every day sacred by going within. Once you do, you will know a radiant and greater power to every step and every word. You'll be able to bring this magnificent force to your world, changing your life forever. Wow. So with Archangel Michael in reverse, it is someone feeling um, you need to reconnect to your real power source. It's your power. Spiritually, mentally, or elsewhere. Feeling a loss or weakness. Six, seven. One or more of your areas of life may be affected and you may find yourself in situations where you just don't know what to do or how to take the initiative to do it. If so, it's time to consider all the ways you can start to take your power back. 
Let go of your old perceptions of limitation and replace them with new thoughts and words that remind you of your God's strength. Take action on your own behalf. When you do the things you love, you tap the power to make yourself happy. Your soul longs for more, excuse me, for you to move from timid to truly empowered. Remember that Michael can share his courage with you and help make that happen. Wow, that is your final card of this um, Akashic message, Akashic Tarot for the year um, moving forward in 2024. Wow, I hope that has helped you, Aries, um, even to see a path or see some understanding of the goodness, the good and the bad, right? Um, do look forward to, I'm going to do a tea leaf one that's a little bit quicker and just see how they, they work together. Uh, thank you all so much. I hope you have enjoyed. Bye-bye. Uh,